Hi, and welcome back to the following episode in this series of How to Make an 80s Electro Funk Beat. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, very important. Okay, let's look at some keyboards here. So, what I'm going to do is add three software instrument tracks. First one, I'm going to go and look for a 80s kind of FM piano, like a like the old DX7 um, so if I go into here, we can actually search sounds. And I know this is called 80s FM Piano, right? I'd looked this up before, so I knew this. So we got that here, and it's given me the channel strip of all the uh, all the bits and pieces on there. Now, um, it's basically made up of three instruments, no, two instruments, a body, which is a synth part, and another synth part which gives you a bell effect. So we've got this kind of Rhodes piano sound here. So here we can hear the 80s style piano there. So let's put down a few chords. I'm gonna put down like an A minor, going down to G, then like an F, or an F normal, then an E minor, and just go back up and down on that. So let's hit R for record and uh, do that. So I did two different sort of inversions of that just to see if one's better than the other and then make sure that the uh, quantizer's on for that. I just have a listen to that. So I prefer the first one don't need that bass chord so let's just either copy them down or just hit command r to repeat it and uh, so we've got that now we can close up the uh, stack of that um so it was came with a stack and now let's go for a, some kind of funky guitar thing so what i i've looked up already and i found uh, this i called it rick's Funky Wah, but basically it's called the Funky Wah if you want to look up Funky Wah guitar. Bit loud. So let's lay down this uh, Funky Wah thing. Yeah, sorry about that. When I'm recording using my program, a program called ScreenFlow to record these uh, tutorials, but when it uses its own interface part of the audio, it seems to give me a terrible latency for playing MIDI. But anyway, I'm going to keep this part. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, quantized. <laughs> second one's better so let's just hold on to the second one repeat that all the way down we can even change the sound on that if you want just to give you an idea and then we can maybe back up these chords with this big fat sound here see what it sounds like Okay, so we've got a, a kind of few keyboards going on there. So let's do some more. I'm gonna add a few gonna add a few more software instrument tracks. So let's do another um, another three. And uh, what I'm gonna do is first of all find the melody that I've got here, which is called Rick's Bright 
punchy synth, which basically is called Bright Punchy Synth in the uh, library, but I just renamed it so I could find it. So this is kind of like a... And I'm going to just play around and find a, a little melody. So something like that. What I want to do here is, for a start, this funky one, I'm going to stick it on the left and double that up with a guitar. So I want to pull this down here, or down out at the same time, copy that down to here. Going to find myself a muted guitar, so I'm going to be muted. So this is going to be a muted guitar, and uh, so just try this out. Okay, stick that to that. So wrong one. So then we can mix this together. Yeah, what I will be doing after this is uh, just putting it, all the different instruments out to the submix buses. I've done tutorials on this, so I won't go into that um, and uh, start sorting out the sound probably in the next tutorial and do some percussion and stuff. So just move on to some more keyboards here. Okay, so we'll just leave that there for now. Just do this melody thing, see what comes. Okay, there's some elements in there I don't like, so... So... So this... Uh, this one down here... This lot... Um, yeah, get rid of that, so... Just pull that back there, copy that over. Sorry. So that's my little melody, and now what I want is a bell, a fantastic FM kind of a DX bell. Uh, I think I found one earlier on. Let me just check. Yeah, Rick's uh, glass bell, right? Okay, it's not really a DX one, but it, but it's kind of a bell. So um, we we'll copy this down here. So we've got that going, and then I'll bring to this part. I'll bring the bell in. Let's see what comes here. So there we have the keyboards sounding okay. Now let's uh, move on to percussion and a bit of mixing and sorting out sounds and stuff because it's starting to get a lot of stuff in there and do a bit of color coding on that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, leave some comments, of course. I will see you in the next episode. Ciao.